Hi, it's Will from StoneTheCastle.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an artificial watermelon or a fake watermelon. And there's a two, I don't really know why you'd want to make one, but I'm making one for a project. If you've been keeping, if you've been, uh, if you subscribe to my videos, you know why I made a fake watermelon. And you can see that video. But uh, I figured what the heck, while I'm making it, I'll show you how to make it. Um, there's two different ways you can do it. And uh, this is one way. We, we use two balloons. You tape them together nice to get a nice shape and put more tape on them. Tape it up really good. And then you paper mache it. And then you'll have a watermelon. Once you paint it, you'll be all set. It won't take long. It's not a long project to do. Just getting it to look good takes some time. The painting of it. And you should um, actually lacquer it or varnish it to give it a little bit of a shine like a real watermelon. But uh, I'm not going to do that one in this. That's going to be part of another tutorial on how to make a piñata. Because once you... Uh, you make that you can and let it dry. You can punch holes in it and pop the balloons, and then you've got plenty of room to put um, candy in there, and then you can hang it as a piñata. So this is going to be the, actually the balloon, uh, the watermelon piñata. So that's the easy one to make, and it's really light. But the one, the one I am going to make is actually a, a very durable one. Now, let me show you some of the materials I'm going to need now. I was considering two different sizes. I was I could make a watermelon about this big. And these bowls are the end pieces, but I think what I'm going to use for the body of it is newspaper. So you need newspaper, a couple of bowls, flour for your paper mache, you need um, paint to paint it, some masking tape, some scissors, and that's about it. You can make yourself up a nice artificial watermelon. And this watermelon is going to be very heavy like a real watermelon. So uh, get yourself some bowls, get them as round as you possibly can. And you see these bowls now, I'm going to use a knife and I'm going to take this rim off here to make it the right shape. And I'm also going to take this rim off here. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to roll up like a log the newspapers into a log so it fits right. And I will show you that assembly. <clears throat> okay, I've made my watermelon shape here. And it's pretty good and it's pretty heavy. A couple of things. I didn't have enough newspapers to make the big one. So I'm just going to make the small one. Oh well. Um, when I put the bowls on, I filled those bowls full of um, crinkled newspaper. And I put some newspapers on the ends here because the bowls didn't have a, a roundness that I liked. So I, I'm going to get them a little bit more rounded there. Now, uh, after this, I'll put a little more, more newspaper on there make it more solid. I'll tape it up really good and then we'll be ready to paper mache it. Um, paper mache, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. The easiest way is two cups of flour, two cups of water, one tablespoon of salt and mix it up. Mix it up real fine and then start laying in your strips of paper mache. So I'll do that and uh, I'll show it to you when, when well, here, um, cut your newspapers into strips one to two inches in size. You mix your uh, flour and water and salt. You put the strips in there, get them nice and soaked, and then you just lay them on in different patterns. And you do two, at least two or three coats of that. For a watermelon, get your paper mache nice and nice and um, smooth and make it nice and smooth. You don't want any bumps or lumps or anything like that. You want it to be nice and smooth. It's like the skin of a watermelon. So I'll be back. Okay, you can see the watermelon is coming along nicely. I've got the first layer of paper mache on there, and I've got some wrinkles in there that's going to have to come out, and I'm letting it dry. I used a hair dryer to um, quicken the dry, which you can do, but just be careful. Use it on a low setting. You don't want to start a fire. Um, I'll be uh, letting it dry completely so it forms a hard shell, and then I will be putting at least another layer of paper mache on it, and then maybe a third. And for the final layer, I'm going to be real careful and go real slow and get it really nice and smooth and get out all the wrinkles so it looks very watermelony because you can see the wrinkles, you know, watermelon isn't going to have that. So um, I'll show you when it's all done and ready for painting and then I'm, I'll give you some tips on painting it. Okay, I just wanted to show you the watermelon. It's coming along really nice. It's very solid. Got a lot more newspapers in there. I didn't like the shape it was before, so I, I keep improving it. I get a nice little bow to it. So I've taped it up pretty good. I'm going to put another layer of um, paper mache on it. Maybe two more layers and then I'll um, start painting it up. So, Okay, I just wanted you to take a look. I've started to paint the, pump, uh, the watermelon and it's coming out pretty good. Um, one thing I did was for part of it I used a darker green and then, I, and then I added yellow to make it lighter green because that's the way a real watermelon is. It isn't uniformly green. So I got a darker green here and then it gets to a lighter green here by adding some yellow to it. And all I did was use um, kids paints, washable, non toxic, so that'll be fun. Um, I'm probably going to do one more coat and then I'm going to put on the decorations 
using a sponge and I'll show you how I do that and then I'm going to coat it with some kind of a spray sealant to give it a little bit of a shine which is what a watermelon has so come along nice I'll, I'll get right back okay this watermelon is just about done I gotta do still a little bit more touch-up paint and then I gotta coat it with some kind of a clear coat to give it a shine so I will get back to you and show you the finished watermelon finally